Hi, thanks for stopping by. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how I create my own greeting cards. As a uh, self-employed artist, I have a great need to say thank you, thank you, thank you to so many people who purchase my art or encouraging to me, and so I like to send cards. I also sell them here in town at one of the stores, and I give them away to those people who come to my art shows. They're just a great thing to have on hand, and they make a nice gift for a lot of people who love my art and it lets them see it. So there you go. Anyway, but you don't have to be an artist to create these. You can just be someone who wants to share cards with other people, friends and family. You might be, you might enjoy photography and that's, you just have a lot of photos. Anyway, who wants to spend seven or eight dollars for a greeting card? That's where they've gotten to, right? Anyway, in this video, I'll show you very quickly how to create your own greeting cards in a very inexpensive way. That's number one I like about them. And number two is the quality. Oh, the quality matters to me. I like the, the feel of the paper. It's highly textured. Uh, it's just a great product. And number three, it only takes a few minutes to put them together. So let's get started and I'll show you how I make my own greeting cards. Thanks again for stopping by. To get started, you're gonna need some photos. Now, as an artist, I take uh, pictures of all of my artwork, so I have quite a bit to choose from. Once I've selected the paintings that I want to have reproduced, I go to an online digital printer called Clark Color. They do awesome work and I've always been pleased. Their prints sell for nine cents, but they run sales all the time. I've gotten them as low as one cent a piece and sometimes three or four. That is a steal of a deal. And the description for that site um, is down in the um, description below. So you're gonna need some photos. Uh, you do have to tweak the photos a little bit on their editor, which is not hard to do at all, but you want it to be as true to the color of whatever your photograph was like, and they do an outstanding job. The next item you're gonna need are blank photo cards that you can mount the photos onto. Now this one, as you can see, kind of see, is um, embossed here on the all the way around the card. It has a lot of texture to it. Let me see if I can get it a little closer. Yep, there it is. I like this edge in here because it gives me a line for when I want to uh, glue the photo down onto there. It's a nice guide. These at Dick Blick online and they're called Strathmore embossed photo mount cards. You can get 50 of them for about $19. And if you want to get a hundred, they do have a package of a hundred cards and that runs about $33. They also come with a really nice envelope. The edge here is um, torn, which is very nice as you can see. So just all around, these are high quality, really nice paper cards that you can buy at Dick Blick. Now the next thing that you're gonna need is um, spray adhesive. This is the fastest and easiest way to uh, mount your photos. And I use a paper clip to hold the photo like this. Just take a photo, put it up here in the corner and spray like this. And I would recommend that you do this outside. And the reason is uh, you don't want the smell of the spray in your house. However, when you do spray outside, make sure that you're a good maybe 12, uh, 18 inches away from it. The other important thing to do to remember is not to spray when there's a lot of wind or sometimes a spray comes onto you. So once you have it sprayed, you just lay it down within the guides there. And I mean, it glues just like that. And they're always, they always just come out perfect. And I wanted to give you a little peek of my cards that I have done. I have a three categories so far on my website. I have my moon series, like this. I have birds, 
because I make a lot of birds. This is a paper clay bird. This is a painting of a bird. And this is what I call a wood cutout of the bird. And this is Mr. Stork. He's another wood cutout. And then here are some more of my flower paintings. As I said, I always take photos of my artwork when I'm finished. And then I have the possibility of taking what I think are the best ones that people seem to enjoy and get them mounted on the cards. As an artist, I sell a lot of these at my home show that I have here. I have a couple stores that I supply with these cards. Most of my patrons love these because they are blank inside. They can use them for weddings, funerals, graduation, uh, get well, any kind, oh, a birthday, any kind of occasion, or just send it to your friend and say, hi, I'm thinking of you. That's it, it was very easy. I hope you got good content out of this video and that you found it helpful and informative. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button and I hope to see you in the next video and I really appreciate you stopping by.